Astronomers have discovered cold hydrogen clouds inside the Milky Way's scorching Fermi bubbles, something once thought impossible. This finding hints that the explosion behind the bubbles, likely from our galaxy's central black hole, may have happened more recently than believed. It's a game changer for how we understand galactic evolution and black hole activity. In this video, we'll break down the discovery, how it was observed, and what it means for our understanding of galaxy evolution and black hole activity. The Fermi bubbles are vast lobes of high-energy plasma extending above and below the galactic center. First identified in 2010 using NASA's Fermi Gamma Ray Space Telescope, they're invisible, invisible light, but glow in gamma ray and X-ray observations. They're believed to be the result of a large-scale release of energy from the galaxy's core, possibly jets or outflows driven by Sagittarius A star millions of years ago. Until now, these bubbles were understood primarily as regions dominated by extremely hot plasma. That's why the discovery of cold hydrogen clouds inside them is so unexpected. Led by Rongmon Bordeloy at North Carolina State University, Researchers used the Green Bank Telescope to detect these cold clouds, measuring between 13 and 91 light years across. They were found about 13,000 light years above the galactic plane, well within the northern bubble. This hydrogen is cold in a relative sense, around 10,000 K, much lower than the surrounding million degree plasma. Under normal conditions, clouds like this would be unstable or short-lived in such an extreme environment. The fact that they're still present suggests they were likely swept into the bubbles during the event that formed them, not formed afterward. Given how long they've lasted, this provides a constraint on when that eruption occurred. If these clouds are slowly eroding due to their surroundings, and current models suggest they should, then they must have been injected into the bubbles relatively recently. Otherwise, they'd no longer be visible. This discovery acts like a cosmic clock, suggesting the bubbles formed just 6-9 million years ago, far younger than once thought. It also shows that even in extreme regions, cold gas can survive, reshaping how we understand energy and matter flow in our galaxy. The most immediate consequence of this discovery is that it tightens the estimated timeline for the Milky Way's last significant central outburst. Many prior models placed the bubble's formation somewhere between 10 and 30 million years ago, but the survival of cold hydrogen gas sets a much shorter window, less than 10 million years, and potentially much closer to five or six. This may seem minor, but it's significant in galactic terms. It implies that Sagittarius A, a black hole currently classified as quiet or inactive, was erupting not so long ago, astronomically speaking. This shifts our understanding of the Milky Way from a passive spiral galaxy to one with a dynamic and episodically active center. It also speaks to the resilience of matter under extreme conditions. The hydrogen clouds not only survived being transported to high latitudes, but have persisted in a plasma-dominated region for millions of years. Understanding how they managed this could refine models of cloud stability, erosion, and magnetic confinement. Their presence also connects to broader ideas about galactic feedback, the way black holes influence their host galaxies. Energy expelled from the core can heat gas, suppress star formation, or in some cases, displace and recycle cold material across the galaxy. This means the Fermi bubbles may not just be destructive, they could recycle material for future star formation. The discovery of cold gas alongside hot gas reveals a multi-phase structure, adding new depth to how we understand these massive features. This discovery doesn't just date a black hole eruption, it reveals how such events can shape galaxies for millions of years. It also highlights the power of multi-wavelength data, with radio, gamma, and X-ray observations together, uncovering a deeper, more complex galactic story. Now that these cold clouds have been identified, 
The next step is to look for more of them. So far, the 11 detected clouds are all located in the northern Fermi bubble. There's still no clear data on whether similar clouds exist in the southern bubble. A larger survey using radio telescopes could provide a more complete map and help determine whether the phenomenon is symmetrical, something that would support the idea of a bipolar eruption from the galactic center. Understanding how the clouds formed and survived will also require more detailed observations. Are they magnetically shielded? Are they moving differently from the hot gas? Do they contain trace elements or molecules that give clues about their origin? Another key question is whether the clouds were pulled from the galactic disk or formed in place from cooling plasma. If they were lifted during the eruption, they could be fragments of larger clouds or star-forming regions that were disrupted. If they formed locally, it would imply that hot gas can condense in certain conditions, something not well supported by current models. Tracking the cloud's motion could reveal how violent the bubble's origin was. Fast-moving clouds suggest an explosive event, while slower ones hint at gradual winds. And with Sagittarius A stars still flaring, another eruption might not be as distant as we think. This discovery reinforces a key idea. Even galaxies like the Milky Way face internal disruptions. It shows how core activity shapes gas flow and star formation. With tools like SKA, JWST, and new X-ray telescopes, we're set to uncover even more about our galaxy's dynamic nature. Cold hydrogen clouds inside the Fermi bubbles are rewriting what we thought possible, surviving in extreme heat and pointing to a recent eruption from our galaxy's central black hole. These clouds aren't outliers, they're clues to how galaxies evolve. The Milky Way's core isn't as quiet as we thought. Stay tuned, this story is just heating up. <laughs>